this video I'm going to show you how to do buttons and sew those down. Um, so after getting really, really frustrated a bunch of times with using uh, one of these functions on my machine, this crazy, uh, the different zigzags, because that's really what you should use to do your buttonholes, you know, or your buttons, you know, and that's what you should use. But my roommate actually showed me that I could use this to do my buttons with. And also to not use that freaking darning plate that gets on my nerves so bad. So, um, let's look and see how well that works. So I have it set already. I have my button picked out and I'm using the scrap piece of fabric with the little marks on it from when I showed how to do the buttonhole. I'm going to take this and as you can see, just by kind of turning my wheel, the setting will go into the holes of the button. Um, please make sure it does because if you have really nice buttons or really fragile buttons, you're going to break it with this needle jamming into the button. So um, check that. But anyway, so let's see how well it works. Hold my fabric down. You see I'm doing that. So back and forth on the button. I also like to, at the end, after I've sewn back and forth on my button, I like to, which function is it? The number 11 function, which kind of gives me a stitch off to the left side. I like to use that just to give me a couple stitches in one spot to kind of uh, secure it. So, so here, let's see, it will go in. So, do a couple stitches, and check the back to make sure everything looks nice and pretty. Let's see, and pull these. Oh, okay, you can't see that. Zoom out some. Okay, see? Alright, so lift it up, uh, check the back, make sure everything looks pretty. Um, you shouldn't have all this craziness going on back here. It should look like this when you turn it over. So do that. Grab my scissors. And cut. And cut. Also, unless you want your thread to contrast with your button, pick a um, thread that matches your button. That way you don't see thread, you see button. <laughs> So anyway, that's it, and that's done. Um, you can always check the strength of your stitching by kind of pulling on the button some. And the button shouldn't be so tight to the fabric that you don't have any space underneath for your buttonhole and your fabric to go under there. So Anyway, that's it. Um, I know this buttonhole is way too big for this button. I'm going to play with it anyway, just so we can have fun looking at buttons and buttonholes. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. Um, and that's all you do.